Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matt Bingham and today we're going to be going over setting up a container called Uptime Kuma. Uh, what that does is it actually is another monitoring. I know we've already doing Prometheus, we're doing all these other things with the Grafana graphs and other stuff, but this is just a quick little nice little uh, program that actually like ping boxes, tell you the status of it, you know, green or red. You can set it up to actually send you a, um, a message as well. Um, if you have uh, problems getting to that, you can set it up to your router. You get all sorts of different things with this. Um, so first of all, I like to do a lot of things in uh, stacks, um, basically which that is just a Docker Compose file. Uh, you can do it multiple different ways. Uh, I love using Portainer for this, so we'll uh, use Portainer for this part of it, but you could do this in a um, regular uh, command line if you would like. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to stacks. The uh, stack name is going to be Uptime Kuma. We'll put the code in here, and basically it's just uh, setting up uh, Uptime Kuma on ports 3001. Right now, currently, the only port that we're being used is 9000, uh, so this should be no problem at all. Remember, the left side is what is actually exposed to uh, the outside world, if you will, or your uh, host IP address. And then the internal is what is being run on the container itself. Uh, so all we have to do there is just click the deploy stack. Okay, that says that the stack was deployed successfully. Um, we can see that it's here. Now we can go back to containers real quick. And it is still starting up. Uh, we can actually go to the logs real quick and see what's going on there. Um, we can see that it is adding route, adding socket handler, and needing the server, and then it's listing on port 3001. Uh, so all good signs. That's still in the start thing. We can see what port, so we can click on this. And it brings in our uptime Kuma setup. Uh, so basically here you can just put in a username, password, Create and we have the actual thing here. We can go in here to actually make this dark if we want uh, for your different uh, colors, appearance. We can go to dark, add a new monitor. Uh, we'll say here we're going to say the HTTP or we can do a ping. Uh, friendly name, we're just going to say uh, router. Host name. That's our router, and click save. And we can see that it was added successfully. And then the router is up, and then we get a little green bar here. Um, next thing we do is we can add another one real quick. Uh, let's do another ping. Let's go to 192.6.80, which is our Grafana. Which we're going to we'll just call it external. Save that one. And it's coming up as down. I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. So this one is not up and running currently. Um, so we've got our router and then you got your other one here uh, that is not uh, accessible. Uh, what we can do now is actually go to a dashboard and we can see we've got one up, one down. And then you can actually create a status page as well. Um, we edit, edit the status page and we'll just call this monitor. Add a monitor, we can do router, and we select those two and save it. And we can actually go here as well, and we're going to switch to the dark theme. Save, and it gives us a little overall uh, update of it. We've got a degraded service, partially degraded service, because one of them is down. And this could be your main uh, thing to first thing that you check. Uh, for different systems and stuff like that. So again, this is called Uptime Kuma. Um, real easy to set up. Uh, the Docker Compose file will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed that. Once again, another monitoring I know. Uh, after this, we'll actually be setting up the uh, Gidea uh, for source control. So that is all I have for this one. Hope you enjoyed. If you would, please like, subscribe. I'll be creating a lot more of these. I apologize it's been so long. Been extremely busy uh, with work and other things. Uh, so we'll get this updated and going again. I uh, hope you enjoyed this.